All right, what's up, guys? It's MRI Man in the house. I want to thank all you guys who are watching, tuning in, leaving comments on my page. And you guys uh, are the ones that are going to get me to make more videos because if no one's really replying or, you know, posting or liking my videos, I don't really, you know, it doesn't really get me hyped up to make another one. So, you know, shout out to you guys. Shout out to you leaving comments on, uh, you know, questions about MRI, you know. So I'm a new tech, you know, as you guys know. Uh, it's my first year going into about six months. And of course I had six months of a uh, prior externship, but now I have six, another six months uh, after that externship. So, you know, official getting paid MRI tech for six months. Uh, first question I got was, was the ARRT test hard? And was it difficult? And did your school uh, prepare you enough for that and uh, you know what I would say that my school did help me a lot with it and but they didn't fully do it so I got this uh, website I'll put it in the description I believe it's uh, mriquiz.com and there uh, they have a test a mock test on there and like a lot almost all of those questions were on my ART test and they're saying if you get a 90 on their test their mock test uh, you will pass the ART like guaranteed and I passed your test on there a few times maybe like I took it about four or five times and I passed it with like 95 96 and then you know I, I ended up getting like a got like an a like an a minus on my uh, ART test it wasn't like a 90 so MRIquiz.com really helped. My school was good, but it was, uh, I felt like they left some things out. Um, they did a really good job, but that MRI quiz just gave me that extra edge and that extra confidence. And uh, I did study every day, you know, for at least, uh, at least two hours every day, every day to study on like my weaknesses and uh, clicked up with the, you know, the, the homies from the class that were smart. And that's another thing. Uh, if you're still going to school hang around the smart people in your class uh even if they're kind of boring or whatever you know just you still got to hang around them that's how you're gonna learn uh you know so you, you guys will get through the art test you know just know your basics you know basics anatomy and you know know your equations and i guess we'll get into that in another video if you got more questions on that uh let's see another question i got was uh hospitals uh, versus a clinic like what is the pros and cons well you know I can tell you this I met people who worked in a, a hospital as an MRI tech and I currently work in a, a imaging center or a clinic um, I had an interview at a, a hospital I, I'm pretty sure I got the job um, they're just working some things out it's a union hospital so it's taking a while but um, you know hospital first things first you know you're gonna work holidays you're gonna work you know you're not gonna work crazy hours though because they don't do emergency you know MRIs you know you're just gonna usually you're gonna work the typical nine to five but you are gonna have to work holidays and stuff like that so that's cool being an MRI tech you don't have to work those overnight you know hours that like CT techs do or you know x-ray techs do that <clears throat> but if you know how to if you're x-ray tech and ct tech they might use you for everything in that hospital um you know clinic is where i'm at imaging center i'm off the weekends uh pretty much set schedule we're off holidays you know and a con about working at a clinic or imaging center is that you're not going to get the big bucks that they're getting at the hospital and the hospital is like guaranteed work but you know we've been pretty busy too and we work harder because it's like a privately owned clinic and a hospital is like they're always getting patients in they can afford to give you bonuses and stuff like that so that's what I gotta say about that um, another question I, I got was uh, am I gonna make any advances in my career well you know I'm thinking of, I want to be like a maybe an MRI director at a hospital you can be a director I'm not sure what the prerequisites are for that. Um, mainly probably experience and a bachelor degree. Um, 
Also, I'm thinking about working for maybe working for like uh, Philips or GE. Uh, work for that company, maybe uh, training people how to use the applications in MRI. So something along that line. Um, I I don't know if I want to scan people forever. You know, maybe I want to I want to get in the director or maybe training people to do the apps. Um, sorry guys, I haven't been uploading a lot, man. I've been working and. Right now, I'm actually on one of my breaks. About to go scan some more. Uh, I'm in my car, so that's what you hear in the background, the air conditioner. Anyway, you guys, you know, like, leave a comment, share your video with other MRI techs, try to help my channel grow. And you guys keep, uh, you know, sending me questions and just leave comments, whatever you guys want me to talk about. If there's enough of you guys out there, you know, maybe I'll do a live stream and, you know, Anyway, you guys stay up and, you know, keep scanning, all right? Keep scanning. Scan away.